Hello, Man in Gray here with another Man in Gray book review. Today's book is The Night Dad Went to Jail, What to Expect When Someone You Love Goes to Jail, written by Melissa Higgins and illustrated by Wednesday uh, Kerwin. This is published by Picture Window Books in 2012. It's 24 pages long, and it's part of a series called Life's Challenges. These are books intended to help uh, young children through various traumatic uh things that can happen in their life, like the death of a pet, a divorce, or in this case, dad, a uh, parent going to prison. Uh, as this book mentions, 65, about 65% of incarcerated men are fathers, and about 75% of incarcerated women are mothers. So there are millions of children out there who uh, have a parent uh, absent in their lives because they're in prison or jail. And this book is intended for young children to help them deal with this issue. Um, the little boy here, the little boy rabbit here is nicknamed Sketch because he likes to draw all the time. And there's a drawing on the cover here of a, a, a picture he did of it when his, he and his father went out fishing one time. Um, the, the dad and the mother separated. Dad lives in an apartment. Mom lives in a house. And uh, one night, uh, Sketch and his two younger siblings, he has a young... Um, uh, brother and sister, they're staying at dad's apartment when the police arrive and they arrest the dad. Uh, and the little the little boy starts crying because he thinks he's going to be arrested. The um, police officer explains to them that he that he may have done something wrong and then he has to go to to the police department for them. Um, he waits around until a social worker shows up and then he takes the dad away. The social worker. Uh, contacts the mother. The mother shows up eventually and takes the uh, three kids back to her house. She gets on the phone and spends several hours trying to figure out what happened. And then she explains to uh, Sketch that th her, his father did something really wrong and that he's probably going to go to jail for a long time. Then uh, what happens, what turns out while this is all going on, um, a little boy who lives in the same neighborhood as the dad sees the dad being brought away in a police car. And so the next day when Sketch goes to prison, uh, sorry, when Sketch goes to school, uh, this little boy starts yelling, hey, your dad got sent to jail. And so then everybody in the school finds out about it and Sketch is really upset. And when he's in uh, math class, he's not paying attention to what the teacher's saying because he's so upset over what happened. And then a kid pokes him from behind and calls him a jailbird and he turns around and throws all the books uh, from that kid on the floor, and then he gets sent to the counselor's office. And when the counselor finds out what has happened, um, she starts talking to him and calming him down, telling him, uh, giving him some advice as to what to do the next time someone kind of pick, picks on him about this. Um, later, they go to uh, the, the family drive, gets on a bus and goes in a short distance across town to the jail where dad is being held. And Sketch sees that dad is behind a glass wall and can only talk through a telephone. And he's so upset that when his dad tries to talk to Sketch, Sketch won't say anything. He keeps looking away because he's upset and kind of embarrassed. And the dad admits that he did something wrong and, and asks for forgiveness. Um, then some time goes by. The dad is transferred to a prison a long distance away in another part of the state. And uh, they get on a bus and take a long drive to this prison. And but he's no longer in behind a glass wall, and they can go talk to him and hug him and everything. And um, so Sketch gets to meet his father once a month. Um, the counselor finds other kids in the school that also have a parent incarcerated, and she starts a kind of a, a group, a club for them to get together and discuss. Uh, what their lives are like. So Sketch joins that club. And um, he, at the end of the book, we find out that the dad's been sentenced to six years in prison. So it's going to be a long time before he gets out. And But they keep writing letters back to each other and they see each other once a month. Mom has to work extra hard now because uh, there's not the, the father to help with expenses. She works longer hours. And so the grandmother has to come in and, and look after the kids uh, a lot. And at the end of the book, Sketch says that he's still angry at his father, but uh, he's he's working on forgiving him because he still loves his dad, and he hopes that when he gets out, they can go fishing again. 
And at the end of the book, there's a glossary that lists some of the terms, the words that are mentioned in the book that may be unfamiliar to small children. So as you can see, this is not a unicorn and rainbow kids book, right? This is a book that deals with a really serious issue, uh, but it deals with it in a very sensitive way. We never learn what crime the uh, dad committed, only that it's a serious crime. And, and so it's, it's try, they try to deal with the, the uh, issue in a, a sensitive way. But the point here is to show kids that they're not alone, that there's a lot of other uh, kids in school that have a parent that's been locked up. Now, I was a high school um, teacher for many years and dealt with this a lot. There were a lot of my uh, uh, students who had a parent incarcerated, usually a dad, and they reacted in various ways, different ways. Some of them were, absolutely didn't want to talk about it at all. They were, they were embarrassed, I assume, and they didn't want to talk about it. Others were happy to talk about it. It was, gives them a chance to vent and uh, talk about their feelings. Some of the kids absolutely hated their parents. The one that was in jail couldn't stand them and didn't want to have anything to do with them, wouldn't, wouldn't talk to them, wouldn't write letters or anything like that. Others were more forgiving. Uh, some of them made excuses for their parent and said, you know, it wasn't really his fault and stuff like that. And there were others, uh, probably the most interesting group, were people that were completely indifferent, or at least they said they were indifferent. They um, uh, didn't didn't they, they didn't mind talking about their parent, but they didn't show any kind of emotion. So I always wondered whether they really were indifferent or whether they were just kind of uh, masking their feelings. But in any case, this book, the, the Not Dad Went to Jail would be a, a good book if you have a young child in this situation. Uh, it's sensitively told, and I think uh, it would be um, helpful to some kids, at least uh, some of the younger kids in this situation. So that's the book. The book is The Not Dad Went to Jail. Uh, the author is Melissa Higgins, the illustrator Wednesday uh, Kerwin, and this has been another Man in Gray book review. Thanks for watching.